All right, today we're going to bring a converter. Now, this is fiber to Ethernet converter, all right? If you're going to transfer 100 to it's gigabytes, actually. So pretty much this is what you're going to need. You're going to need an SFP connection, all right? And they do sell those connections, which are available. I actually have one connected right now. It's kind of hard to get out once you put it in there. But if you don't have that, you can always you have the option to do the uh, fiber. So um it does have one of these connections it will look something like this on one end right uh i did buy the cable already fixed this has a power of five volts uh, power over ethernet or you can do five volts if you want with a usb type c uh optional optional that's an optional so you close this out connect your ethernet your cat 45 cat 6 right if you want to transfer the higher rate it would be cat 6 or higher uh once you connect that you have a connection that you could do your fiber connection right in here, in this buddy. But it's a little difficult to build them now these days because they have pre-built already with the SFP, SFP now built. So you don't really have to buy a fiber connection. They already sell them in different fee. It could go from 500 to 100. Uh, distance, you could go longer than 300 feet around a fiber connection. So this is made good. If you're going to be working in different levels, different floors, You your first floor, you want to send the connection, the category, your gigabyte connection up to maybe the 10th floor, 11th floor, and you have another server room or half server room, a rack or something, and you have a fiber connection, you could extend it up to there it's it's very really reliable and traffic it's going to be even stronger through fiber now the only thing that when you're issuing through through fiber it's a little bit more fragile than cat 45 or cat category 6 cable so uh that's the only thing that you're going to do outdoor you would need an outdoor graded fiber because um this deteriorates quickly within a week if it's exposed to the sun too much all right now the exposure of the sun will <laughs> fragile and make it very dull that you'll start losing connectivity or even probably won't connect because fiber remember it's it's a line a site because pretty much it is it's it's pretty much a, a a tube built with glass to reflect every single light into the actual connection so this is what we're going to do we're going to test it out and see how well it works all right so what we're going to do is we have a poe connection in here so this is going to give it power automatically as soon as we plug it in all right so if you guys can see the power is going right now but it's not enough if you guys can see it's already there it's five volts already we have power on our sfp now we're going to transfer it to power this switch in here but unfortunately this is not power through ethernet so poe so you need to give it manual power in here right so we're going to plug in that's why we have this plug in we're going to set it up and we're going to plug it in a laptop. We have cap five category five with a gigabyte transfer, uh, e, uh, fiber connected to a switch the switch connects to the actual laptop. All right. We're going to power it up on the side of it with an actual, uh, DC connection, 12 volts, and you could go higher up to 240 on that one, but we're just going to do 12 volts just to keep it safe. And uh, we do have a DC 12 volt connection. We're going to plug it in. We uh, went and go ahead and power the system up. We're going to give it eth Ethernet. If you guys can see, it just came on right now. We're going to go into the Internet and we're going to check out, check out the speeds. All right. Right now we have about, you know, 900 a, a, ter a gigabyte of transfer. So we're going to type in speed test. And there's the actual connection. All right. So our it's a gigabyte that we have right now but unfortunately i don't get a gigabyte where i live at i get about 800 to 900 it depends on the connection and right now we're connecting through the through the ethernet live connection right ethernet through the actual switch that's powered by the fiber all right connection goes so because i have poe i don't need any power it automatically powers it up you would from category six or five you only need power to transfer and because i have power and it's built in it's automatically going in here i got a live connection in here it's feeding my switch here my ethernet connection switch powering it up and now we have internet and if you guys can see i got good connection in here so 800 by 900 it's really good and it's something that i'm really glad that these things happen because you do need power you need to transfer high rate of speeds on your ethernet or from switch to switch uh location location distance could be something so a category five and six long distance is about 350 you know it, it, it ranges from place to place outdoor is a little less um 
fiber is more reliable for distance, anything higher than that, it's distance, or you have to have different closets in between so you can have that. So if you like to save more money, instead of having closet, closet, closet from built place to place, you could have one connection point A to point B and nothing in between. And then you could disperse from those two. Or if you want to spend more money, you could have closets in between, meaning that you could have switches, servers, and so forth, hosting these devices. But this actually saves you a lot of money when you have something like a converter from category. It could come from the vendor. You could transfer it and convert into um, fiber and transfer without losing the rate and the speeds. It's a great deal to do it, especially if you if you're doing large networking. All right. So very simple, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video.